Hey guys, what's up? This is Mary Boy 16 and today I got a little bit of a treat for you guys. I'm doing a review on a Quantum Rival power chair. So, my grandpa got this for $180 at a Salvation Army here where he lives in Pennsylvania. So, he got this for $180. So, for this chair, I looked it up, and he asked me, is this a good, would it be a good idea for me to get this? And he looked, showed me pictures for it, and I told him, go ahead and get it immediately. Like, don't even hesitate, just get the chair. So, he went ahead and got it, and this thing is absolutely awesome. So, it is a four-wheel wheelchair as opposed to the common six-wheel wheelchair. So it's based off an older design, but it's a tried and true design. Rear-wheel drive, four-wheel uh, chassis-based wheelchair with anti-tip wheels in the back. But this chair is an incredibly heavy chair this chair by itself probably weighs close to 250 to 300 pounds not exactly sure but it's heavy you can't lift it you can't move it by hand except for pushing it when it's in neutral but it's a very heavy chair but when we when he got it it was all kind of messed up and all that stuff so it was like not nothing was adjusted correctly so this joystick controller was in the middle the headrest wasn't on and it was out of position it was all kind of wonky and all that stuff it had um it was there was a lot of stuff that wasn't adjusted properly and it looked like kind of like crap but i went ahead and went through it and adjusted everything got it to actually be you know comfortable it was definitely meant for... It was definitely someone small who owned this previously. But luckily for me, I am about this. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit bigger than whoever previously owned it, but it fits me perfectly with the way I have it adjusted. So... It has the swivel legs that you can do this with to be able to get in and out of it, which makes it very easy to get in and out of. And both of them do that. And it has these nice padded, all around the padded uh, footrests. So if, someone, if you're someone who has kind of like fiddly, if you have fiddly feet or whatever, that you know, move a lot and all that stuff, this will prevent them from getting cut up or chafed or anything like that, or getting, falling off and getting sucked up underneath the chair, which would be terrible because this thing weighs 300 pounds. Plus, however much the rider weighs, having all that weight crushing your foot yeah you won't you'll be in this thing for the rest of your life if that happens <laughs> but this is the uh it uses the quantum uh high speed motors so these aren't the high torque but these are high speed so this chair does seem to have a little bit less power than um than what you would think it would have like my um invacare pronto m41 has more torque than this chair does but if you look on the motor let's see where does it say rated uh, constant power output is 350 watts peak is 1000 watts so these aren't inherently powerful motors my um invacare m uh, was it M51 or M61? I think it was M51 had um, 1800 watt motors. So these are high, these are motors are four pole high speed motors. That or the controller is not programmed to be able to provide the full amperage to these motors. But either way, this chair is absolutely awesome. It, it's powerful. It's powerful for what it for for a power chair. I mean it's. For its size, it's not that powerful, but for a power chair, it's still powerful. Um, you can see that it does have a true steel frame, very thick steel frame. Of course, you have anchor points here and in the back. 
and they were used a lot by previous whoever previously owned this thing because there's a lot of scratching and crap right there but that was uh that so it does have suspension so the nice thing with this chair is that it is spring loaded so the whole the chair itself or the seat is spring loaded so the, it's a nice smooth ride on the seat the frame is a solid frame so there's no bending or tweaking or anything that this frame can do it just it's just a solid square unibody frame so it's a very solid frame it does have a little bit of swing suspension for um each side so that way it's not completely squared but it's not like um the six wheel uh quantum where all four of the x or the outside wheels are independent suspension as opposed to this where it's just a solid arm pretty much so if we move to the back here this does not have the q logic controller which i'm kind of bummed about but i mean this was a um this was more of a uh, budget based chair and by saying that I mean this thing was probably around two thousand to three thousand dollars when these things normally go for five grand fully loaded so but you can see here this is where the uh, where the actuator controller is and where the interface for the joystick goes in and this does have a tilt actuator so I'll show you that but before we do that, we need to see what the power source is like. Very easy to get to everything on this chair. So I'm just take off this. Go ahead and turn it off before I unplug it. Actually, I may not even need to unplug it. Let's just go ahead and... It does have a... The nice thing with this one is it has a tray, a rolling tray that the batteries are in. So it's very easy to access the batteries. <clears throat> Pop the stupid pin. There we go. So there you go. You see it has the... Uh... Oh, for crying out loud, that one pin keeps always getting stuck in that thing there. All right. There we go. So you can see it has massive batteries. These are as big as golf cart batteries. But these batteries are 63 amp hours. So very big batteries. I don't know why there's two ratings on this. There's a 12 volt 63 amp hour, 12 volt 74 amp hour. I'm just gonna be the safe guy and go with the 12 volt 63, which is a very weird rating. I've never seen an odd number rating like that before. So it's a very odd rating. Like I've never seen 63 amp hours before. Normally, they're 55 or 65 or 80 being the biggest. And then 35 or 45, 30, 35, and then just going down by increments of about, of about 5 until you get to like the 18 amp hour batteries, which are absolutely puny in comparison to these. So, but very nice... Uh, rolling tray that this comes on you can see the roller one of the rollers here and there's a support roller up in there as well so very very convenient makes uh, getting your getting uh, access to battery your batteries on these power chairs so easy so servicing it is much easier you don't have to tear anything off you don't have to take any body panels well you take one body panel off but and get the stinging pin, locking pins back in place because that kind of needs to be there because if it's not then that could be a huge problem because if you remove your locking if you don't have locking pins the battery can slide out and you'll be dropping your $300 batteries So, it does use the Bug Eye uh, reflectors, kind of like the Permobiles. If any of you have ever seen those power chairs, it uses the exact same little the 
funny looking bug eye reflectors in the back, which I kind of like, but just an interesting side note. It does have neutral and drive, obviously, because it's a power chair and it's kind of required in case if it were to break down, you need to move it. It does have drive and neutral. And a weird note with this is that the drive and neutral switches don't actually inhibit the motors. So if you don't have, take these plastic things off there. If you don't have this in drive, the motors will still spin, but the wheels won't spin, which I find very odd because my uh, M4, my uh, Indicare M41 has an it has an inhibitor switch in these uh in the forward or drive and neutral switch or a uh, lever and it will let you know on the controller if it's in neutral or not which is a really cool feature which i don't know why they wouldn't have this on this chair but just a weird side note but we'll go ahead and do a bit of a drive here so very simple controller but it does show you everything you need to know about the chair if something were to go wrong it has error code capabilities and all that stuff so we will go ahead and i'll show you this chair is incredibly fast incredibly fast so i'm gonna try to straighten out my joystick there we go all right so I'm going to punch it. You'll be surprised at how fast this goes. This chair, I have um, clocked it at 7.2 miles an hour, which is incredibly fast. Most power chairs only go between 4 to 5 miles an hour, and that's the nicer ones. Like the cheaper, smaller, lightweight ones, they only go 3 to 4. But this goes seven miles an hour. We're not going seven miles an hour because we are going up an incredibly steep hill right here, but. Like you, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a very steep hill and this chair has no problem going up it. You can hear the motor noise this chair does need, it is older and the gearboxes are well worn, but they still have some, they still have life in them. So, and they're very easy to work on and do um, repairs and all that stuff. I actually took the one motor off because it was making a horrible rasping noise whenever you drive it in reverse and I cleaned it out and all that stuff and it kind it, it made it less noisy, but... The motors are older on this, the, or they've been well used. I wouldn't say they're necessarily older, but they have a lot of miles on them. But you can see we cruise along at about six, of like norm, nominal 6.5 to 7 miles an hour. But this is a very fast power chair. So I will show you the tilt which can be activated either by going up on your keypad and then pushing up on the joy or back on the joystick or by hitting the uh, function button here. But I'll do it with the joystick because it's a little bit faster with the joystick. So this chair leans almost 90 degrees back. It'll tilt 90 degrees, which makes it very easy to sleep in if you wanted to. So there we go. I'm at a 90 degree angle. There's the bottom of the chair. Kind of see if I can hold it here. You can see the actuator motor it and, the, and all that stuff. So very comfortable, especially with this nice uh, memory foam headrest. Very comfortable chair to sleep in. So, and you can drive it tilted, but you have to have it tilted to you can only drive it when it's tilted to a certain point. Well, you can't drive when it's tilted all the way back because your line of sight is clearly not going to be any good, but. All right, let's see. Drive. Okay.
Come on. There we go. So this is about the maximum amount of tilt where it can drive, which is still very comfortable. And which is very helpful for going down hills because it doesn't make you feel like you're about to fall out of the chair. Although you do have a seat belt. I just don't have it on right now. And we're about to go down one of the steepest hills I've ever seen. So. So you'll hear it here. And you can hear it. It's, it's trying to electronically brake, but this is where I this is where I clocked it at 7.2 miles an hour. Actually, no, not 7.2, eight miles an hour. I was going down this hill. So, absolute maximum speed on this thing is eight miles an hour, which is amazingly fast for a power chair. So you can see so we can just drive. And the nice thing with this is it has um, two different styles of braking, where it has progressive, where it's just, if you let off the stick, it kind of just comes to a nice stop. And if you need to emergency brake, just pull back. And it stops almost instantly. Which is really nice. My M41 doesn't have that, and I wish it did. So, this is a very, very fast and comfortable power chair. Like, this is by far the best power chair I've ever owned or ever looked at or anything like that. I've owned, uh, let's see, three power chairs. My M51, my, uh... I had a Quantum Q6 Edge, but I got rid of it immediately because it was programmed to go like one mile an hour and I was absolutely not having that. And then my current power chair, which I have at home, which is my M41, which I really do enjoy that chair because it, for what it is, it's incredibly powerful and incredibly speedy. Nowhere near as speedy as this chair, but considering that this is a five to six thousand dollar chair, new, I can excuse it when the uh, Invacare M Pronto M41 only costs about two grand on Amazon. So if you can order a power chair on Amazon, you shouldn't expect it to be as good as this. But anyways, I wanted to sh show you guys this power chair because it is absolutely awesome. And I thought you'd be interested in seeing it. So. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube. Bye.